I have a metal pan or a wax paper or parchment paper and you're going to need to butter the entire thing so that the apples do not stick once you place them on there. Next, you're going to need to um, move to the oven and get a saucepan and add three cups of hot water and bring that to a boil. You're then going to take your Granny Smith apples and remove the stems and place them in the boiling water for 10 seconds so that the wax comes off of the apples. I'm then taking a cloth towel, you can use a towel or a paper towel and then I'm wiping all of the water off the apples so that I can dip them properly. I'm going to lay all the apples that I dipped in the boiling water on a wax paper sheet. So then I can let them dry as I make the caramel. And then I'm going to take these bamboo sticks that I got from Michaels. You can use these sticks or popsicle sticks. And I'm going to stick them in the middle where the stem was so that I can dip them. Now on to make the caramel, you're going to need one cup of light brown sugar. One stick or a half a cup of unsalted butter. A half a cup of light corn syrup. And lastly, a half a can of sweetened condensed milk, or seven ounces. I'm going to whisk all of the ingredients I put in my saucepan until I reach a boil. You're going to need a candy thermometer or any type of cooking thermometer so once the caramel reaches 245 degrees Fahrenheit, you can remove it from the stove. This process takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how high you have your heat. I have my heat on medium heat and you can see that it's starting to get done and I'm just waiting for it to reach 245.
caramel has now reached 245 degrees Fahrenheit so now I'm going to remove it and wait one to two minutes so that I can add my vanilla extract as I wait for the caramel I'm going to wipe all of the apples again because some of them have sweated Now that I waited one to two minutes, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to my caramel. I'm now going to take the apples and submerge them in the caramel. I do a 360 rotation all throughout so that the whole apple gets covered. I had to reheat my caramel because it got stiff. If you need to do this, you can place the saucepan back on the stove and on medium heat for about one to two minutes just until you reach a boil and then you can start dipping again. So these are how the apples turned out. I think they look really nice. You can leave them like this or you can dip them in a theme like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 